In the last verse of Hosea chapter 11, the Lord says through his prophet, Israel surrounds me with lies and deceit, but Judah still obeys God and is faithful to the Holy One. But as we pick up in chapter 12, the Lord speaks charges against both Israel and Judah. Of Israel, the Lord says, the people of Israel feed on the wind. They chase after the east wind all day long. They pile up lies and violence. They are making an alliance with Assyria while sending olive oil to buy support from Egypt. The east wind was and still is known as a parching, wasting, and injurious wind in the Middle East. So what's being said of Israel is that they're chasing that which is bad for them. Israel is also making deals with and trusting in the superpowers that surround them. They're foolishly placing these alliances ahead of their relationship with God. Then verse 2 says, Now the Lord is bringing charges against Judah. He's about to punish Jacob for all of his deceitful ways and pay him back for all that he has done. The Lord remembers how Jacob struggled with his brother in the womb and even fought with God. Jacob wrestled with an angel and he won, pleading for a blessing. He met God face to face at Bethel and God spoke to him. And in verse 6, God encourages Judah, So now come back to your God. Act with love and justice and always depend on him. But no, Hosea says. The people are like thieves and they love to cheat. Israel boasted saying, I am right. I've made a fortune all by myself. No one has caught me cheating. My record is spotless. And in this, we see the real problem. See, God is always willing to forgive and restore. He's always willing to work with a repentant soul. But Judah and Israel are not that. They are prideful in the evil they've done. They're deceptive and arrogant. The Lord has been patient with them, and they've mistaken God's patience for his approval. Reading Hosea chapter 12 today reminded me this morning how easy it is to cast stones at those who are caught in sin. But if I'm completely honest, I've done the very same thing as Israel and Judah did. I've continued in my sin and given room to my flesh because of God's great patience with me. Let me encourage you today as I encourage myself. Let's see God's patience for what it is. It's another opportunity for us to surrender to Him.